Kansas gets a big time win, thirty five to twenty seven over Duke. And this one, uh, I mean, let's let's just be real here. Uh, Jalen Daniels is the guy. He's the dude. There's nothing that I can say that will ever be enough to explain how awesome this guy is at football. 19 out of 23 for 324 yards and four touchdowns. He made a throw at the end of the first half where he looked like he was scrambling. And he had a guy that was running, uh, not a fade route, but he was running into the end zone. And Jalen Daniels is backing up, and his feet are not even close to set. And this dude had the arm strength and the accuracy to put that thing right on the money in the corner of the end zone, where where his guy could reach out in stride and catch the football. It was one of the most perfect throws that I have ever seen, and I immediately knew that my Duke plus 7.5 that I gave out on the Bet US College Football Show was Dunzo. Because there's no stopping this guy. My reasoning for my handicap was Houston and West Virginia and uh, Tennessee Tech. When they went up against Jalen Daniels, they did not have anything that could slow down the rushing game of Kansas, right? The the zone running scheme that Lance Leipold is running here. The, the RPO stuff, just the, all the crazy motions and the jet sweeps and the blah, 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 all that stuff, nobody had been able to defend it. So Jalen Daniels never had to worry as far as passing the football, right? It, it wasn't any big deal because they were going to be able to run it anyway, right? Like he could sit back because people would key in so much on the run that he'd be able to find wide open guys anyway. This was a different deal. This was completely different because Jalen Daniels can absolutely read the field. He can throw the ball. In this game, 11 attempts rushing for 83 yards. Yes, that's still really, really good. I get that. But when I look at it, uh, it lets me know that he was not so focused on running the football. He just took what the defense gave him, right? They still had 39 carries for 204 yards. They averaged over five yards a carry, did Kansas. So Duke did a pretty decent job. But man, this offense is something else. And and where I thought, hey, you know, Kansas, yeah, they're going to hit their win over or win total over and I think they're going to be a really competitive team, but they're not quite there yet. I was wrong. When you've got the quarterback, you are competitive as far as the conference goes. You have a chance in every single game. There's not a single game on this schedule that Duke play, or that uh, Kansas plays. That I don't think they got a shot to win. Not a single one. They play Iowa State this week at home. They play TCU after that. They play Oklahoma. They play at Baylor. Uh, they play Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, Texas, Kansas State. I think they can win. They can win all of them. Now, I'm not predicting that they win all of them. But there's not one that they can't win. As long as you got the quarterback, you are going to be successful. And they got that dude. I mean, Jalen Daniels is just something else. I just, I just, I can't even explain it. Uh, looking at, at the box score, by the way, little props to Duke. Of course, Riley Leonard has just been awesome this year. 24 out of 35 for 324 yards and one touchdown. Uh, he also had 10 carries for 54 yards. He was their leading rusher as well. And Duke played well, and yet they were not enough against Kansas at all. Uh, they they had a shot late. Uh, you look at the play by play here, of course. Um, and by the way, everybody that said that Kansas did get in the end zone on that first drive, etc. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. I know it was a bad spot. Whatever. Uh, that was still a Duke stop. They did a pretty good job of getting that stop there. So, uh, but looking at it, you you go down and I mean it is twenty eight to thirteen. Then it's twenty eight to twenty. And then it's 35 to 20. Every time Duke responded, Kansas was able to respond as well. Um, this is how close we were, right? It's 35 to 27. Duke has the ball. And it is fourth and seven at the Kansas 31. So we're that close to maybe going to overtime in this thing. Who knows? Who knows what could have happened? But regardless, 
Kansas finds a way to get it done again. When you got the quarterback, you got a shot in every game. You can win every game on that schedule. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.